Hey everyone, uh, Professor Snart is checking in after our spring break here. Hopefully everyone had a good one. Not too allergy filled like mine, um, but otherwise mine was pretty good. So we are back and actually spring break was so late this year, we only have um, a few units left and they're all obviously devoted to completing and then working on some revising and editing stuff for um, the final paper. So really, Unit 10, which is where we're at now, which is due Thursday, April 12th, is um, primarily just a writing unit. Um, you are kind of within the writing process, and like I've said before, there's no single one that I would prescribe that's going to work for you. So what I have you doing here is something that um, is important to do, although sometimes where you do it can be flexible, but simply doing an outline and then sort of combining that with beginning um, a rough draft of your essay. So obviously that means you have a fairly good topic in place, even if you don't have a specific thesis totally refined yet, that's okay, you can still proceed forward. Obviously you can be doing the research component, that means it's a good time to go back to um, the earlier unit where we assigned the, the essay, so you can review the requirements, make sure you're on the right track, you have the right primary text or secondary texts going on. Um, so just be sure that the essay you produce actually conforms to the requirements because it might be a great essay, but if it's missing pieces, um, it, uh, the, the, the good work you've done in the essay isn't re really reflected in the grade. So again, just be sure that you're satisfying the requirements for the course. Okay, so Unit 10 here, pretty straightforward. Um, doing an outline, maybe starting a draft. Uh, some reminders about basic tone or style things, and of course the formatting that we've talked about. And then there's a very quick discussion board here where you're posting your um, topic. Um, like I said, some people might have a very specific refined thesis and they're ready to go at this point. Others may be not quite so um, uh, narrowed down yet. It's still more of a topic, kind of an idea. Um, but this sort of forces you to at least elaborate something to get the ball rolling for the paper. And then, in addition to maybe going backwards and checking on requirements, I'd also recommend, again, maybe checking the units and due dates list here just to see how things break down in terms of unit 11, which actually has two components to allow for a peer editing time, um, when the final essay is actually due and submitted, and um, then what follows from that. So you kind of, you have a real clear you know, roadmap of where we're going as we finish off the term here. Um, so the only thing that's due as far as the uh, Unit 10 is that um, uh, discussion board, the My Topic discussion board. You're doing an outline, but I'm not collecting it from you because, again, uh, the way people do them can be so variable, and um, even their effectiveness at different points in the writing process can be variable as well. A number of people find it really effective to do basic outlining or um, brainstorming to write the bulk of the paper, but then to really do a formal outline after the fact um, based on what you've written. It's a great way to make sure you have clear topic sentences. Do you have support for all those ideas? Are there gaps? Are there repetitions? So sometimes doing an outline, not necessarily as the first thing, can be really effective as well. Okay, so check those requirements for the essay, check the due dates as we progress towards the end of the course, and um, by all means be in touch with me if you have any questions, especially if you're still not quite clear about what your topic can be and, and how that's going to work. So be in touch with me sooner rather than later.